For this video, we're going to be looking at the music's impact on society, and I think the first place to look at is the actual like top rock albums uh, from based off sales. I looked at Billboard uh, because they basically look at the actual economic impact of it from the actual sale point of the domestic sales within the U.S. As far as I know, that's how they can... Uh, compute their numbers. I don't believe they look at uh, global sales as far as I uh, recollect. They look at global sales with it that's probably even uh, a little bit more accurate. But what we're seeing with it is Weezer, basically their uh, their major, uh, third album, Teal, as far as I uh, was seeing, it was basically mainly a cover album of other bands. That's what it seemed like the tracks were from. Uh, when I was looking at some of the other popular uh, songs, uh, their their albums number one, number two is Queen's Greatest Hits. Now Queen is basically a band that has not uh, performed as its original self in quite some time because the lead singer died of AIDS quite a long time ago. We're talking over thirty years ago. Uh, bring me the horizon ammo. I have this is okay. This would be a new band, Panic at the Disco, Pray for the Weekend. That would be a new band, Imagine Dragons or uh, Origins. That's a new band. But then we're back to Queen, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody soundtrack. That's another uh, Queen album, Imagine Dragons and uh, Evolve. That's another new band, Twenty One Pilots Trench. Michael uh, Franti and Spearhead uh, Stay Human Volume 2 that would be new Elton John Diamonds that's another older band quite uh, another quite old band Journey Journey's Greatest Hits that's older Greta Van Fleet uh, somewhat new uh, that was actually brought uh, forth to me from uh, where I've heard them they're actually fairly good from uh, my actual uh, neighbor across the street told me about them recently then we go that's the anthem of uh, the peaceful army next at 13 we have Billy Joel the essential the essential Billy Joel uh, 14 which is another older band then we go to 14 Creedence Claro revival featuring John Fogarty Chronicle the 20 greatest hits uh, that's older Fleetwood Mac Rumors that's older Imagine Dragons were, uh, Night Visions were back to them Queen Greatest Hits 1, 2, and 3 The Platinum Collection uh, we're at 18 Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Greatest Hits Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits they're somewhat more recent but uh, not, not that recent but they're a lot more recent than some of these other uh, classic rock bands but as they were formed, basically, uh, where they did a lot of their work during the 80s and 90s. Blurry Face, 21 Pilots, that's newer. Panic at the Disco, Death of a uh, Bachelor, that's the 21st. Rival Sons, uh, Feral Woods, that's, a new, that's newer. Guns N' Roses, Greatest Hits, that's another one. Metallica, that's their self-titled album. That's another older band, they are basically... For, throughout the 80s and 90s, even to current, but basically a lot of their work was 80s and 90s. Bob Seger and the Silver Bolt Band Grades hits, basically 70s and 80s was their bulk of their work. Uh, Greta Van Fleet from The Fires, it's another album from them. Uh, Eagles, greatest hits, 71 to 75. A lot of their work was 70s. 13, uh, soundtrack, 13 Reasons Why, Season 2. That's an actual, I, I assume, show. The Beatles, Abbey Road. The Beatles were from the 1960s, for Christ's sakes. Five Finger Death Punch, a uh, decade of destruction. Formed in the 1990s. Back in Black, ACDC, I believe. That was either late 70s or early 80s. I believe that was early 80s. The Beatles' White Album, that's another one on there and that's 60s hot rocks by the rolling stones that's uh greatest hits from a certain from the period of 64 to 71 delta by mumford and sons 
Beatles one that's actually was actually a greatest hits released I believe around the two, around 2000 so it's not even a new greatest hits album Nirvana Nevermind this was uh, one of their early albums released I believe it was 91 uh, Leonard Skinner all time greatest hits their basic uh, body of work is from the 70s to part of the 80s uh, bon Jovi Greatest Hits Ultimate Collection. Most of their work is from like the early 90s. Disturbed Evolution. Disturbed is 90s and part of the 2000s. Hosier, uh, self titled. Their newer Lincoln Park Hybrid Theory. Lincoln Park kind of came out early 2000s. Lana Del Rey, that Born to Die, that's new. Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. They're like 60s and 70s. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. That was 1960s. L Lumineers, Cleopatra. That's new as far as I remember. Pink Floyd, The Wall. That's 80s. Simon Love soundtrack. Uh, not familiar with that, but it's probably something fairly new. Brief inquiry into the relationships by the 75. That seems new. Fleetwood Mac greatest hits. As we said, Fleetwood Mac is basically was around 70s and 80s because uh, a lot of them tended to split off their own ways. You know, they do still tour uh, on and off, but not with the, all original members. Uh, and then Foo Fighters greatest hits. Uh, Foo Fighters were essentially an offshoot of Nirvana and were formed after the uh, suicide of uh, Kurt Cobain and basically is they were uh, pretty much from the 90s and part of the 2000s and aren't quite as popular as they once were so we're talking most of these bands are between 60s to 90s and aren't even recent and this should give you a clue in the way people are thinking of rock music. And when you look at actually some of the charts of the Hot 100, you're seeing a lot of these bands that are really, uh, there are a lot of R&B and pop and a lot of this stuff that's not going to last when we look at actually socially on the long scale. And this, this should be considered key uh, when it comes down to what socially matters because they're not, a so, they're, none of these guys on this whole list are basically when it comes down to what's going to socially impact on the long scale, none of these people are going to last that haven't, uh, because there's only been a couple that have actually had decent careers. Most of it is pop and R&B and rap. Pretty much the whole list in that uh, that new style of country, which is considered kind of an aberration of what country should be. And this is, when we think of this, it's not going to last. It's usually a product of uh, positive uh, economic growth. When economic growth tends to slide, you end up going into a different uh, situation musically, and that's what you end up seeing. And when we get into these uh, situations, you'll see a lot of pop come out of it. And uh, that's what ends up coming out of the situation. But what comes out socially is we're not seeing as much of the social impact from the music because it's a lot of fluff and nonsense. It's a lot of the pop type of stuff of uh, pushing the idea of a lot of the sex, a lot of the partying, and a lot of this, uh, what it calls uh, the love stories and all the kind of garbage like that. And that's what we find on the whole list. And that's basically what you're going to find. And this is what you find on this whole mainstream list. 
Now what's missing is any type of substantial type of impact. There would actually be an artistic impact and something that would be felt beyond this era. Such, uh, which is why we're finding such things as people going back, like what we saw on that rock list, people going back to further past eras. Now this should be considered very, very troubling musically. Um, though I think we are seeing some people on the independent scale uh, produce some decent music. I don't think it's on the level uh, anywhere close on the mat on the uh, on the uh, mainstream level that we need to be because they're producing, they're pushing out way too much of this uh, cheap garbage that's basically this plastic uh, soft serve hogwash. You're seeing Ariana Grande and um, all this other hogwash like that, Maroon 5, Cardi B, all this other uh, Lady Gaga, all this other nonsense that really doesn't even have any talent. That's why I considered kind of uh, funny when people were trying to uh, go on either way on that 21 Savage thing with it because he's just another product of this whole big bunch of uh, nonsense. And it shows that what it called these people, not these people don't even have the, uh, any bit of sense with it because he was here uh, illegally since 2006 and didn't even have the sense to maybe possibly check in with uh, customs to see if he can get uh, his visa extended. But no, he, he was here during the period of three different presidents, George W. Bush, uh, Barack Obama, and now uh, uh, under uh, Donald Trump. And now gets and now he's going to be removed by ICE because he's a complete and utter idiot. And I don't think what it called we can say with some of these people uh, who are basically advoc advocating for uh, on one end with it, advocating for Hispanic people to come in with it, but then laughing at his situation. I'm not laughing at his situation. I just think that if you're going to be that stupid, you kind of deserve what comes to you. I mean, he had plenty of opportunities. If you have, you're talking 12, 12 plus years to do something, you should be doing something about it. And this is basically what you're filled with this list. Complete and utter morons. The only exception is the, what it call is we're talking, is not on number 36, you're talking, there is a kid song on there. Baby Shark by Pink Fong. This was a basic uh, popular song well over uh, well over a couple of years ago that hit Asia. It became popular in the Philippines about a couple of years ago, and now it hit the U.S., and now everybody thinks it's popular here, and it's insane because we're late to trends. And basically, that this is basically what we're talking about is we're completely insane. We we're late. Number one, we're late to trends. Number two, is when it comes down to it, is we're basically uh, because we don't have any other types of music that we're willing to embrace uh, in mainstream music because it's all garbage. Is we're left with embracing kids' music. A kid's music song is number 36. And that's just insane. I'm not saying anything wrong with, with it hitting any type of charts, but should it be that high? Especially when it was produced uh, a long time ago? No. That's insane. And when it comes to the actual impact, we should be making more of an actual impact on society. Each era actually had some type of impact, even from the actual top 40 people. But we've gotten to a point now where our top 40 people are garbage. 
each uh when it, when it seemed like when 2000 hit they just totally checked out and they decided we're not going to make any more impact with our top 40 music anymore even in the 90s uh there was at least some type of impact being made when you had the uh grunge music uh, that when that was hitting the top 40 that was actually making an impact during the 80s at least uh, you had some of the hair metal bands they were actually making an impact by actually adding some artistry in with the actual music there is no artistry with this this is this garbage and then when we have the uh, 70s People were actually producing good uh, compositions uh, within that era as well. Even with disco, you can at least say that they were actually bringing in some uh, Latin grooves into pop music, which was not heard of before. Uh, and that was something that was unique at the time. Uh, and they were, uh, and then you were also having a lot of the uh, quality rock songs. When you go back to the 60s, the 60s was really changing stuff around with a lot of the psychedelic music, with a lot of the surf music, and this stuff was coming around with the pop. When it comes to like the 50s, they were starting to, uh, even some of the pop music was actually viewed as rock as well. So you were getting people uh, like Elvis on the list, and he was essentially just remaking uh versions of a lot of the black songs which were essentially uh blues songs or jazz songs and he was making these essentially popular on the mainstream and it was helping promote a lot of these black artists to the mainstream so it basically started to change around the way music was seen and this is what you had so it really changed culturally what we saw but now what we're seeing is we're seeing this is really kind of the downward spiral of Western civilization. When they were talking about rock music being the uh, end of Western civilization, no. It's this pop garbage and this uh, weak need uh, rock music like Maroon 5. Maroon 5 is garbage. We need actually real people who actually want to actually put some effort into their actual playing. And I'm sorry, but this needs to end. We need people actually where the actual companies up there are willing to invest in people who actually know how to play. And it's going to impact into the actual markets when they start doing these investments. And we're the, uh, because we don't need only the actual uh, independent companies making these investments into these artists. Because it shouldn't be where people are going back to these classic albums to hear good music. Because if this is it, then you're talking that's the end of music in Western society when we're talking from an actual business standpoint. And that shouldn't be the case because you don't want to end music just there because when music has been recorded for god knows how long we're talking well over well over a couple of uh well over a century we're talking and in some cases we're talking into like the middle 1800s where we've had some type of a recording uh format uh, that we actually still can play we're talking this is something that is this would be a sad case to state that we're, we're essentially going to give up and uh, just have this garbage essentially end what we view as impactful music I don't care if we're talking lyrically or uh, composition wise but we need something actually to come forth and be part of the mainstream because the mainstream shouldn't be this, this garbage and when people are, are actually looking through these songs and seeing these uh, things and they're seeing nothing come forth 
this is basically what we uh this is what they're going to see they're going to see basically that there's nothing to nothing great in our society and basically if put forth this question right here if aliens were to land on earth would you actually uh be happy with what they saw with with our music system today i think we would be actually embarrassed with what we're seeing with our music today would you want them to say hey ariana grande is something that they can actually represent us do you really want that someone who's basically made their uh uh made their claim to fame as being on a Nickelodeon show where they're essentially uh, a supporting character playing an idiot and basically in real life they're a complete and utter idiot and they sing these pop songs that are basically garbage so this is the best we can do I think we can do a lot better than that I mean, this this is basically what we're talking about. I mean, for our top artists, we're talking uh, artists at top number one. Right now, we're talking the Backstreet Boys. Really? This is a freaking boy band from the freaking 90s. This is garbage. You look at our, our list of our actual top ones with it. We have Queens at number four. They're, they don't even uh, perform as we know them. They might have another singer jump in, but they don't even perform as we know them. The rest of it is complete and utter garbage. Just garbage after garbage until you get to Weezer at 13. They're actually a pretty unique band. More garbage. Continue it garbage and garbage 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 and you continue on down and more garbage and this continues on down with more and more and more garbage Greta Van Fleet at 45 was actually pretty good as well then you keep on more more and more garbage and you go to 53 Michael Jackson was good when he was alive but that's He's dead now. He doesn't perform anymore. Continue on down. More garbage. Lil Wayne at 60 is actually kind of an interesting thing. But uh, uh, then we go to 61 at Metallica. Uh, then we go uh, more and more garbage. We keep going through. 78 the Beatles they basically the Beatles they have two member two original members left or two members as we know them as being left I should say keep going through and we basically are going down and it's more and more garbage until we go all the way down to uh, 98 at journey which doesn't even have the original singer left as they uh but their journey was essentially an offshoot of santana as we all should know 99 is disturbed uh originally out of uh chicago and then uh that's basically the end so basically only a handful of stuff is, is decent the rest of it is crap So we should basically, uh, and this is basically what we're getting, we're getting basically people who are essentially tolerating garbage. And that that's what I'm seeing on here. Now while they don't have like stuff like jazz on the, jazz or blues on the list, I mean, uh, this is what I'm seeing with these people, is they're basically tolerating garbage for these for our current music and if aliens were to land as I stated they would see our music scene and 
if they had to make a decision where to blow up our world or not based on if our music was inspirational we would basically might as well be kissing our backsides goodbye because this is complete and utter garbage what we're putting out and it's only our bands that have been around for quite some time uh, or are basically bands that are actually independent that are actually producing anything even decent nothing that's actually top listed is actually worthwhile they're all crap and that's stating it bluntly because there's no, no other way to state it it's all horrible and it's embarrassing and I I don't think I can state it any other way than that I mean you look at the rock list you'll see the, you'll see basically is uh, by albums you'll see see that basically it's nothing but older bands and you look at the uh, just artist top 100 basically there's just a handful that are even decent I mean and that's going out of a hundred artists maybe f maybe five or six that are decent and that that's it and that that that's regardless of genre and I will see and after uh, uh, basically with this uh, I'm gonna end it right here and uh, I will probably see you guys later for hopefully one more post um, and if you like this like subscribe and uh, click the bell for notifications share it all around on Twitter and Facebook and all the other social media websites and uh, as I said I'll see you la uh, guys later hopefully I can uh, find uh, some other topic that hits me interesting to talk to you guys about and that's about it bye everyone